Hello everybody, in this lesson we are learning how to combine individual elements to make new compounds. So this may show up in many different parts in year one of chemistry, and this um, will help you whenever you get to that. So, for example, let's combine any two elements. So let's just pick H, and we know if we com combine hydrogen with an oxygen, um, you're going to make H2O. So a lot of people wonder, uh, where does this 2 come from? How do you know it's like H2O? How do you know it's not like H2O2? How do you know it's not like H2O4? Um, so where do these numbers essentially come from? So there's actually a 1 if they don't show it. Um, so basically, you take the individual reactants. So you have this H and you have this O. So this H is right here. This whole column is negative 1. This column is negative, or plus 1, sorry, and plus 2. And right here, you have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So this H is in the column that is um, plus 1. So H is going to have a plus 1. O is in the column that is minus 2. As you can see, it's right here. So this is a minus 2. So when you combine them, you're going to make some new compound that's H something, O something. Now, if this whole compound right here has an overall charge of zero. That must mean these charges must cancel out. So if each O is negative two, how many H's if each one is plus one do you need to cancel that out to make it equal to zero? So you would need two H's at plus one to be equal to one O, which is minus two. So that's why it's H2O. Um, another way, if you don't really like kind of doing math, you can do a straight up crossover. So if there's a one here, you put it over here. If there's a, a number over here, you put it right over here. So that'll give you H2O. Try a couple more examples. Combining sodium and Cl, which is chloride. So sodium is right here. Chloride is right here, which is minus one. So if Na is plus one and this is minus one, you just grab them and put them right there. So you're going to have NaCl. Whenever the numbers are the same, you can just not write them. Um, because it, numbers are really there just for ratios to show you that for each, for example, an H2O, for every O, you need two hydrogens. However, if it's one to one, like this one, so one here, one here, uh, you don't really need to write that. It's, it's basically showing if you get NaCl, it shows you they're, equal, they're in equal amounts. Um, so, a lot of times when they ask the question, they're not going to basically give you um, one element plus the other element. They're usually just going to say the name. Um, so, for example, they may just say hydrochloric acid. And hydrochloric acid, so it's chloric, so there's a Cl, and you know there's an H. And you just got to make sure these numbers are right. So, H is plus 1. Cl is minus 1, that means you're crossing over it's 1, 1, which basically means it's 8Cl. Um, they may do um, potassium hydroxide. So, potassium, and you have to know that hydroxide is OH. And so this is going to be in the polyatomic ions list they usually give. Hydroxide is OH, and hydroxide is always like OH minus. And then potassium, as you know, is plus 1. Because you're right here. So if it's plus 1 to a minus, let me just erase this so it's a little more clear. Plus 1 to a minus, this plus 1 goes here. This minus 1 goes here. So you, have, you end up with KOH. Um, they might say, um, let's say, uh, hydrosulfuric acid. So, that is H, and then uh, sulfate, which is another polyatomic ion. SO4 minus 2. H, as we know, is plus 1. Um, so you're taking this minus 2, putting it here, this plus 1, putting it here. So it is H2, SO4. Um, a lot of times, they will give something like... Um, copper sulfide for example now the thing is 
as you can see here, these numbers right here are to these rows. These numbers right here to these rows. But what happens if you were to pick something that is anywhere from here to here, a transition middle? Well, the transition, they're just kind of in there. You can't really find out um, what their charge is going to be because anything that transition metal is going to do like uh, metallic bonding. Um, so they're not really going to transfer electrons and have charges. So basically, they have to give you what it is. And a lot of times, they're going to put it in numerals. So you may say, they may put copper and then put Roman numeral 2, which means it's like Cu2+. plus. They may actually physically write it in English. Copper 2. Uh, that's the same as, you know, Cu2+. plus. Um, other scenarios, uh, iron is really used a lot in reactions, so they'll write like Fe3. Um, That's the same as Fe3+. plus. So for example, if they were to say um, copper 2-iodide. Um, that is going to be Cu, and there's the Roman numeral, so 2 plus, combining with I, which as you see here is minus 1. And so you can do the little crossover. There you go. And you can do this with any polyatomic ion, you can do it with nitrate, you can do it with um, phosphate, and you can combine individual groups. All right, uh, that is it for now. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials. Thank you.